And then we came in on the starboard side of beam of the bridge. And the first thing I saw coming out of the gloom at 30 feet was this wall, this giant wall of riveted steel that rose over a hundred and some feet above us. I never looked down at the Titanic. I looked up at the Titanic. Nothing was small. But then as we rose up its side, because we had to abort the dive at that point, because we were taking water into our batteries. And as we rose up after that first dive that lasted just minutes, we began to see the portholes. And it was like people looking back at us. It was pretty haunting, actually. Titanic lies uh, in a part of the ocean that you would describe as an abyssal plain. Uh, it's over 13,000 feet deep in the ocean. Uh, the water is uh, near freezing temperatures. And probably the biggest challenge uh, is the remoteness of the location, and in particular, the harsh uh, environment uh, with regard to the pressure that uh, our uh, equipment is exposed to. So every square inch or centimeter is being uh, uh, pressed into a smaller space by the crushing pressures of the ocean at this kind of depth. Uh, and I think everyone wonders in their own mind, if I were there, what would I have done? Would I have you know, done anything to save my life? Or would I have, like the builder of the Titanic, Andrew, uh, gave up his life jacket to a female uh, passenger and went and sat in the smoking room and sat there and never budged till the ship went down with him. So it was just amazing uh, play of humanity. Mm -hmm.